Hello friends, welcome to ProTalent and this is our legal knowledge module number 4 question answer part which is a part of score booster. I'm sure all of you must have gone through our first 3 module for this legal knowledge. Here we are going to take 20 questions and we try to understand certain concepts behind it. I'm sure all of you must be ready with me to study this. Okay, let's see this first. Number one says that which of the following is not a wagering agreement. Okay. Niche mein se kaun se cheez wagering agreement nahi hai. Dhyan rahe, lottery is a wagering agreement. Now what do you mean by wagering agreement? Any agreement which is purely on betting or gambling is called wagering. Which means koi future uncertain event hai. Or us future uncertain event ke saath aapka koi direct action connected nahi hai you are just interested in the money part of that future event then such kind of agreements are called wagering agreement that means you are we can say thinking that virat kohli agar agli ball mein six marega then you will give me so much of money or i will give you so much of money that's a wagering agreement okay while virat kohli is thinking ki agli ball mein main six marunga obviously wo uska khud ka intention hai. so that is not basically a wagering but anyway so wagering lot lottery is a wagering yes an agreement to buy a ticket of lottery that's also wagering because any agreement in terms of law the object which is wagering is also a wagering contract commercial transactions the intention of which is not to deliver goods but to pay only difference in the price okay so this is also a sort of wagering the answer would be contract of insurance such kind of contract are either called contingent contract or they are contract of indemnity okay they are the contract of indemnity okay so which of one of the following is not a wagering contract answer would be d coming to number two the public nuisance Okay. In public nuisance, a private right of action lies with whom? Okay. So in a public nuisance, a private right of action lies with when the injury is merely consequential or when there is a proof of damages or when injury is particular, direct and substantial. So answer would be private right of action lies when injury is particular, direct and substantial answer would be c coming to number three a master is liable for tort committed by his servant when servant acts okay for the benefit of his master or in the course of his employment or during the duty hours or for the detriment of the plaintiff answer would be in the course of employment remember there is a concept of master servant relationship and whatever servant does it is applicable on the master master is liable for all the acts of the servant in the course of employment agar koi bhi activity servant apne course of employment mein karta hai then master is liable okay so answer would be b and then comes question number 4 it says the term scienter is related to which one of the following sign board scienter that means ek tarike se knowledge hona okay so it says trespassers will be prosecuted here that awareness okay, that knowledge part is not coming beware of dogs pretty much good that you have to be aware that here in this room that or in this house there is dog so perfect answer would be b scienter refers to knowledge coming to number five who among the following jurists was offered various positions in indian judicial system including a seat on the indian supreme court 
and attorney general of india but decline this positions attorney general of india uh, is the first law officer position and he was also offered a seat in indian supreme court and he refused that that is mr h m sirwai now aapko pata hoga mc sitalwad was basically kaun the fatafat batao he was the first some xyz fatafat bataiye nani palki wala okay he was also a member of indian supreme court so let's see the answer would be a the state in which things were so they are called status quo jaisa hai waisa the state in which things are called status quo bahut easy hai which major fatafat bataiye res judicata and res subjudice which major that means act of god okay res judicata any judgment which has already been decided res subjudice the matter is under court okay while well, status quo jaisa hai waisa hi rehne dena okay comment number 7 the maintenance and welfare of parents and senior citizens act came into force in which year the the maintenance and welfare of senior citizens and the parents came in 2008 remember that this came in 2008 and this is very important one coming to number 8 number 8 says name the former law minister of india who wrote a book called conscience of maverick conscience of maverick was written by mr ram jethmalani ram jethmalani aaj ki tarikh mein bhi at a quite you can say old age is a very active in a legal profession so that is very important name you should remember coming to number 9 9 says a mortgage of blank property mortgage kis cheez ka possible hota hai mortgage is of movable as well as immovable property dono ka ho sakta hai so therefore answer would be c i am sure you understand there is a difference between mortgage mortgage karna matlab koi cheez property dena aur uske samne you get a loan there is something uh, you can say other thing called pledge karna okay so that is difference and th th that is a little different then hypothecation karna okay hypothecation okay so ye yaad rakhega mujhe bataiye fatafat pledge kya hota hai hypothecation kya hota hai i'm sure students like you can be in a position to do some kind of research coming to number 10 who was the chairman of first law commission of india this is a wonderful question who was the chairman of first law commission of india maine abhi aapse sawal pucha tha that uh, who is this gentleman so that is nothing but mr m c chetalwad bilkul yaad rakhega ye sawal bahut bar exam mein aata hai okay coming to number 11 a husband is obliged to maintain his divorced wife kab tak throughout her life possibly but if she gets remarried tab unko wo maintain karne ki zarurat nahi hai so answer kya hoga till she gets remarried coming to number 12 constitution bench of india that is a constitution bench of supreme court consists of at least how many members so it should contain at least five judges remember that it should contain at least five judges coming to number 13 blank is an inquiry into the apparent cause of death okay apparent cause of death ki inquiry kya hai it is mahazar no it is inquest report yes post mortem report that is not the inquiry in the apparent cause of death okay it is a basically a method to perfectly identify what is the cause of death okay coming to number 14 where is this national judicial academy located national judicial academy is located at bhopal in case you get admission at bhopal that is national law university bhopal you will be getting this benefit of this national judicial academy coming to number number 15 give meaning to the word called pari pasu pari pasu means you can say on equal footing pari pasu means on equal footing cheezon ko equal sense mein rakh lo and then you will try and see ki kya lagega okay coming to number 16 parliament of india consists of what it consists of lok sabha rajya sabha and president of india okay ye teen cheez idhar bhi hogi that is the answer so it is lok sabha 
then Rajya Sabha and the President of India answer would be A. Okay. Coming to number 17, it says that Finance Commission is what? Remember, Finance Commission, Abhi, Konsa Finance Commission, 15th Finance Commission, or unke chairman hai, Mr. N.K. Singh. Okay. Mr. N.K. Singh is, a, is, is the chairman of 15th Finance Commission, or in ka recommendation 2020 se implement hoga. Finance Commission is a body which tries to balance out the money distribution between center and the state. I'm sure you understand India is a quasi-federal country. So India is a quasi-federal country. So when we are quasi-federal, we have to decide about the money distribution between center and state. And therefore, it must be a constitutional body. Coming to question number, you can say 18, ex parte decisions. Ex parte decisions are the decisions taken with one party into consideration without hearing the other party. Okay, so after hearing both parties, nahi chalega, without proper procedure, nahi chalega, after observing proper procedure, nahi chalega. so this is without hearing the opponent that is called ex parte decision. Coming to number 19, Pune judge of a high court is a judge other than chief justice. A judge other than chief justice is called Pune judge. And the last question called intra virus. Intra virus means within the power. Opposite kya hoga? Ultra virus. That is outside the power. So answer would be A. So with this, I'm closing this module. I'm sure you must have enjoyed this 20 questions and learn something interesting and new with me today. Okay. So make sure that you continue staying with us for your score booster module and make sure that you like this video, subscribe this channel and share it to large number of people and do not miss out to take this from pro talent digital.com okay mat okay thank you very much and all the best